Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now there's no secret that I that I love a good waterproof and ruggedized case. And you can find this case within this video's description. But what I wanted to do, uh, since I have received my first additional battery for the Phantom 3, and you can check the link within this video's description to find where to order this case, as well as the batteries, the Phantom 3, and other accessories. So uh, this is the case I've been using with the Phantom 3 Professional. It'll also work with Phantom 3 Advanced. Uh, but as I have it currently configured, and I apologize for this foam area right here, Sean Coonery, the enormous Maine Coon cat got in the case and started clawing at it. So, so there's some of that disrupted there. Uh, but what I can do now, so you can see the size of this battery. And what you've got to think about is future growth, because ultimately, you know, one extra battery is probably not going to be optimal, because I've got one in the Phantom, and then I've got one extra, but, you know, I want to leave room for more. And you've got to think from a structural perspective, you know, where's your best place to, to put batteries? Now, this happens to be where I rest my, my additional props, and then obviously my quick disconnect prop guards. So I probably want to leave that area somewhat disrupted. This area is right up against where I have my controller. So I, I may not want to put anything there. I could put something here. But I think where I'm going to start out is about right here. Because see, you can see if I lift the Phantom up, or actually I'll just take it out. See, there's, there's, there's nothing there. So, And these are just extra... Uh, lens filters that I have for the Phantom 3. I just kind of keep them down in there in a the little sack. But what we're going to do is just go close to this arm right here. And again, what you want to do, you don't want to pluck a lot to begin with. You want to start small and then get bigger as you need as you need to. Um, so what I'm going to do is just do piece by piece. Because remember, this stuff expands a little bit when you when you insert a battery or whatever. I'm going to take, let's see, actually, you know what, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to take this right here. So that seems to be the width. Now what we're going to do is do another row of this foam right here. Now remember, there's two layers, so it's not 100% uh, finished yet. So see, this is going to be perfect. cut all three out at once. That's pretty cool. And you know, if you don't want to pluck, you can get a, uh, and, and I've got it listed within this video's description, a case that that is pre-plucked. But I like to pluck because I like that custom fit for what I'm putting in there. So see, now I've got room for one extra battery so far. So just very easy to do. And then obviously, as I as I acquire more batteries, I've got room there. I could probably put about three more here. I could put one there, one there, one over here. I don't know how many extra batteries I'm going to get for the Phantom 3, but as I get them, I'm going to pluck it. But I'm not going to pluck it until I get those batteries. But look at how nicely that fits. And just to give you a little shake test, see? And then when this closes, obviously all of this is this nice eggshell type mattress top. As you can see there, that that touches the uh, the stuff inside to keep it keep it nice and uh, wobble free. And that's that's one of the reasons I like this pluckable foam. It's not just because typically the pluck of, pluckable foam it tends to be a lower price than the pre-molded foam for the Phantom Three. Uh, but also, it just in my opinion, it just uh, keeps everything more snug and I'm able to customize as I had mentioned because I use quick disconnect prop guards I know a lot of other people do and a lot of people don't like them but since I customize this case to my own specifications I'm able to fit whatever in here and I've got room to grow so tell me what you think uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already it's youtube.com forward slash and check out 400 
or below.com because I'm featuring a lot of tutorials there and and then obviously links to where you can find uh, the Phantom 3 and the uh, Phantom 3 accessories such as this case and the and the batteries and all of that goodness. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.